apologize for the manner in which you are brought to my headquarters? That is quite all right. Actually, I, I rather enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> that soldier who brought me, he has very broad shoulders. <laughs> Armed cars stolen? Don't worry about it, Hubert. It's probably some local boys playing a little prank. I must report it at once to my headquarters. Just think how cross they will be when they find out you've lost your armored car. Believe me, it'll come back if you're patient. But what if it does not? <laughs> it might like doing holding the spell. <laughs> Help yourselves. <laughs> well, as Field Marshal Garing would have said, bottoms up. Bottoms. <laughs> You're not joining our toast. Oh, I am sorry. I was miles away. They are from a Monsieur Alphonse. I hear he intends to marry you. No, I have made up my mind. I am going to marry Rene. Marry <laughs> Rene? I'm afraid so. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> Rene. The French way. <laughs> Monsieur Alphonse. <laughs> Thank you, Monsieur. But I hardly know you. <laughs> Indeed, I, I, I expect the general would prefer outside caterers and his own staff. I, On I, the I... contrary, the people in the town seem reluctant to cooperate. The boy in the cake shop was most offhand. <laughs> I was about to ask if you could do it. Of course we could. And if Rene has a little too much to drink, he could stay the night. We have large chambers. You think of everything, let's say. You are looking very pink and fresh today. Uh, I saved up my water ration and my soap ration to have a bath. I have a very big bath at the chateau. If ever you want to luxuriate. Uh, how the conquering heroes live. <laughs> if it were not for those meddlesome resistance people, it would be quite a peaceful life. I think I could provide a copy if I could see the original. Are you an artist? Well, I have leanings, you know. <laughs> and not a little talent. Before I was a window dresser, I was employed in an art gallery. <laughs> Occasionally, I was allowed to touch up old masters. <laughs> well, one has to start somewhere. This girl tells me that she came to see you. Did you order a girl? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Do not be afraid to own up. It is war time, and we are the conquerors. We all have our needs. He not did this! <laughs> I see. There really is nothing straightforward about you, Gruber, is there? Charlotte! Germans! They rap defenseless women! Oh, this one does not. <laughs> He's my friend! Oh, 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 <laughs> In-laws are always so much trouble. Yes, this is why I do not get married. <laughs> but why should I leave him? Why should I go? He'd be much better than me, I know. I have a someone crazy for me. He's funny. I wish to speak to you confidentially. Can you bend over a little? <laughs> oh. Yes, yes. Sir. Could you obtain for me, perhaps from your wife, Edith, some dark red lipstick? You're going somewhere special. <laughs> Rene, do not get the wrong idea about me. I do not wear lipstick. 
even when I'm going somewhere special. <laughs> ah, Grimmer, thank you for coming. Where is Helga? I wish I knew. She hasn't reported for duty. Ah, so I, I do not know why they have girls in the army. They are most unreliable. It's a man's job. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to look so surprised. I'm doing this for you. <laughs> well, you really need not have bothered. Ah, René. Ah, uh, good morning, Lieutenant. Uh, ah, you, you look very smart. Thank you. You will notice that I am walking rather gingerly. <laughs> Do not tell me that you have dynamite in your trousers. <laughs> René. <laughs> René, do not listen to gossip. <laughs> Good morning, René. Ah, uh, good morning, Lieutenant. Your usual? Later, thank you, René. <laughs> René, I have a problem regarding my sleeping arrangements. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> the colonel has ordered Captain Bertorelli to sleep with me. <laughs> well, the Italians wanted to join the war. They must accept the consequences. <laughs> you think of all the times I have invited you here, and now you arrive by chance. <laughs> Oh, did you? Oh, no, purely by chance, then. <laughs> I, I really should not be here. It is probably against regulations. Don't worry. The walls are thick, the doors are stout. Why are you waving your potato about? <laughs> Let us sit down and see what else we have in common. Well, uh, I like Berlin in June. How about you? <laughs> I like a Mozart tune. How about you? <laughs> I'm mad about good books. I cannot get my fill. And Adolf Hitler's looks? They give me a chill. <laughs> oh, so, so you are also going to the wedding. <laughs> there would be no wedding without him. He is the groom. <laughs> the groom? <laughs> you? <laughs> Honey, you, you did not tell me. It was all a bit sudden. Not a shotgun wedding. <laughs> More in the nature of an automatic with a silencer on it. <laughs> I have a gun. I also have a pimp. <laughs> that is Gruber. <laughs> Please, not so loud. <laughs> I do not wish my fellow officers to find out that I'm running a woman. <laughs> May I say that I am most relieved that you no longer have to disguise yourself as a bent old man. <laughs> I was just old. <laughs> well, it is good that you are not in danger. <laughs> we are in danger. Yes, but there is much unemployment. Waitresses can be replaced. <laughs> René is one of a kind. There. What did she tell you? Nobody noticed anything. Oh, here is the test. What do you mean? Lieutenant Gruber. <laughs> the one who fancies you. He notices everything. Good morning, Lieutenant. Good morning, René. <laughs> Uh, I regret this intrusion, madame, uh, at the time of your grief. <laughs> Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. <laughs> I have informed General von Klinkerhofen that it was the French general who attempted to assassinate Herr Flick of the Gestapo by exploding him. He now suspects the French general of being the miscreant who tried to poison us all at the meeting to plan the invasion. Fantastic! How can I ever thank you? <laughs> well, I, uh, I had not yet given the matter any thought. <laughs> I must at once see the colonel. I will announce you. There's no time. Colonel, I have just left the general. 
He is in a most awful state of agitation. Berlin is blaming him for the fiasco with the generals. He's looking for a scapegoat. And who is this to be? As his confidential aide, I am not permitted to divulge the name. Well, of course. I understand. Yes, but I can point. <laughs> I have them, Colonel. Put them down Goober's trousers. <laughs> you like them down the left side or the right? <laughs> I think if it is all the same to you, one each side. <laughs> really? <laughs> then it will shut the door quickly. Could it be that I have hit the jackpot? <laughs> Lieutenant Gruber, it is vital that you do not tell anybody what you have seen. René, long underwear is nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> I was talking about the money. Oh, yes, I see. <laughs> my, my. You do have a big bundle there. <laughs> we are inside the hospital, proceeding to the second floor. We are inside the hospital. <laughs> Why are you talking to your bedpan? She's psychic. A patient of hers died on it. <laughs> Is there anybody there? Is there anybody there? Knock once for yes, twice for no. No, I, I have to put the cat out. Oh, I, I could put it out with you. Uh, no, your medals might frighten it. Very well. I, uh, I too have a little cat, you know. Oh, really? Mm. What is it? A ginger tom. <laughs> what else? <laughs> you have, I take it, heard the expression, if you scratch my back, then I will scratch your back. <laughs> <laughs> it is not one I use every day, but... <laughs> I could very likely help you if you could let something drop. <laughs> I see. Um, on the other hand, he was not a very good pianist. I pray every night that Hitler doesn't invade England. That damn British weather would be fatal for me with my rheumatism. <laughs> and the food. Before the war, I was one month in a small hotel in Croydon. <laughs> what about Manchester? They eat faggots for breakfast. <laughs> it's a barbarous country. <laughs> and the Romans put up with it for a thousand years. My name is Lieutenant Gruber. Hey, nice boot. Yes. He's a pretty boy. <laughs> I want that man's name. I better you do. <laughs> 